Welcome to the coverage of the Dow 30. Up on screen is Apple. We see this is a buy at 105, trending higher. American Express, supported by Berkshire Hathaway, being a major shareholder, and American Express is buying back shares at a record rate, which is helping to deliver uh, above average earnings per share growth. Uh, we see support there at $60, stock trading higher. Boeing's been uh, performing exceptionally well, above average earnings growth broke out from 130, now trading 160. Caterpillar. Based on the comments from the CEO, we think this is probably at the top end of its price expansion at the moment. Uh, Cisco Systems, again, based on the comments from the CEO, we think earnings struggle over the next 12 months. Chevron, I think this feeds through to uh, with the OPEC and non-OPEC members agreeing on a produ production cut. These oil stocks should continue to perform well. Uh, DuPont, see support there at around 61. I think this stock can trend higher. Disney, I think we have a bit of a question mark here. The stock seems to be making lower lows, lower highs. It's had a rally off the back of the potential ESPN spin-off talks, but we'll wait and see how things unfold there. GE, I think up here is getting a little bit expensive, uh, so I see it in a channel between 32 and 28 as support. Goldman Sachs performed exceptionally well off the back of this rally with uh, since Trump's been elected. Home Depot runs in a resistance at 140. IBM supported well. This is another stock that Berkshire Hathaway is taking a substantial stake in, and I think that underpins an ongoing uptrend there in IBM. Intel, we had an algo signal down here around $33. I think Intel looked cheap at that point. Now trading 36, I think it can trade maybe up to 38. Johnson and Johnson, we had an algo buy signal here around this 110 support range. I think some of these defensive yield names can trade a little bit higher. JP Morgan, um, think back to Jamie Dimon, the CEO of the company, putting it, buying shares at around $55 in hindsight. That was probably the, uh, the trigger for investors to jump on board. Coca-Cola in a downtrend, we'll watch that for a breakout. McDonald's, we had an algo signal here, it's trading higher. I think maybe it runs in a resistance at around 125 though. 3M probably running in a resistance around 180. Merck, I think these drug stocks have been sold off. Uh, and present reasonable buy. We had a buy algo signal here around 58. Uh, it's now trading 61, but should bounce along sideways with sort of a trend towards the uh, higher prices. Microsoft, um, they're shifting to subscriber-based businesses and cloud subscription type services is really driving tremendous growth here in Microsoft. I think this stock heads much higher. Pfizer, uh, buy signal down here around $30. I think this trend's higher as well. Procter Gamble, I think this trend's higher off the recent algo. So we had a buy signal back here, back at around $80, and the stock trended up to 90. We now have another buy signal back here at 80, and we're trading 85 now. Travelers Group, a little cautious on this on the short side, so we're just waiting for that selling, pre uh, the buying pressure to exhaust there. United Health Group has done exceptionally well. Buy, so we had an Elgo buy signal here at 132, now trading 160. United Technologies, I think support here at 100, now trading 110. Uh, Visa, let's just back this chart out a little bit so we can see what's happening. So we've got a buy signal here at around $75. Um, but I think the stock needs to sort of consolidate and build some support on top of that. Uh, Verizon, so telecommunication, we think that this rally could exhaust up at around 53 to $55, and it's worth just keeping an eye on the indicators rolling over there for a short trade. Walmart, I think we see this building supported around 67, probably should trade up and test resistance at around 75. ExxonMobil, benefiting again from these stronger oil prices, so it looks like it's put in a good support level there at around eight. $82, and there we are back to Apple. Let's conclude with a real quick look at the Dow Jones Index. And uh, uh, let me just find this, sorry. Uh, here we go. So there's the Dow Jones index. We can see it's rallied from 18,000 uh, support there uh, and still trading up on its highs. I think we're getting pretty close to an exhaustion though in this current buying. Uh, if you're not currently aware, uh, Investor Signals offers global equities and if you'd like to chat with us about opening an account with a particular focus on US stocks, please email me, leon at investorsignals.com.